Good morning and welcome. We are grateful you are here. We bless you and welcome each one of you. This is our sharing our joys and concern time. And uh, following this, we're going to go into more worship. And during that worship time, if there's somebody who would like to receive communion, um, you're certainly welcome. They'll be served in the youth room right out back. And um, we will open this up. Dennis is here. So, Dennis, we're going to start with you. I got a prayer request. Uh, my neighbor uh, had his name on the tip of my tongue. They come here every once in a while. Loretta and Hostetler. Milton, there you go. Yeah. Milton, yeah. I had one of those senior moments, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess Anyhow, he, he was out hunting. His deer stand collapsed. He fell 12 feet. And he really messed up his heel and ankle, so uh, oh. she, Loretta had called and asked for prayer. Yeah, so we yeah. will pray. Yeah. So. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you um, for protection. God, sometimes those things happen and lives are lost. And God, right now, Milton is, is needing a touch for healing of a leg, of a heel. And God, whatever is, is messed up. We just come to today in agreement and we speak life over him and healing. We ask for just a, a complete uh, restoration and uh, healing for Milton and for their family. We pray your blessing on them. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Dennis. Amen. Wow, friends. Well, we're going to... Uh, just simply open it up. If there's some others that have a need of prayer, we're going to pray in a special way for uh, Richard. And uh, Juanita, Richard Coons is in the hospital. I talked with him a little bit this morning. I know a couple of uh, men prayed with him yesterday, and he said he's doing much better. And so we praise the Lord for his touch, and he's hoping to be home in a couple of days. He doesn't know for sure what's going to develop, but we're going to trust, and we're going to pray for him this morning. Um, Elmer Beachy had surgery this uh, past week, and uh, he is at home recovering. And uh, well, let's just, we're going to pray for him that there's complete uh, recovery. And um, yeah, so we're going to trust the Lord. I thank the Lord for, uh, I had eye surgery on Thursday, and so that's why this lens doesn't happen to be in there. I don't know how weird that looks, but anyway, um, I can see. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> this one I was almost <laughs> not able to see. And um, now I can read uh, the, the lettering on the back, which would have been an impossibility before. And it actually uh, it kind of messed me up for a little bit. I, and the doctor said, wow, he said, when you are almost can't see, you're blind. And when I suddenly you see, your brain has to get used to. I was suddenly nauseous and dizzy and headaches and and was trying to figure out what it was all coming in and you guys all looked better than I even realized and <laughs> and when I looked in the mirror I was older than I thought <laughs> no but anyway I'm thanking the Lord so I have one more surgery this week and um, well I can see and in the spirit realm I want to see a hundred percent clearly and uh that's more important even than our physical sight. And so we want to walk that. So um, I would like us to pray. Um, who would be willing just to stand and pray for Richard? And then I want somebody to pray for Elmer. Oh, yes. Your children, the children are here. I'm trying to remember your name. It's a son and a daughter. What's your name? Steve and, and Regina? You know what? Do you mind if you just stand in for, I mean, just sit, you can sit right there. Why don't we have a few of us gather around Steve and Regina? And do you mind if we just have a prayer for you and on uh, behalf of your dad? Appreciate you guys being here today. Who else would just come on over and, and um, I'd love to have somebody lead in a prayer here. And um, yeah, you just reach up and put a hand on her shoulder. And then Mel, would you mind uh, having a prayer as well? 
Father, we come to you this morning in Jesus' name. Lord, we lift Richard to you. We lift the family to you, Father, during this time. And God, we, we continue to cry out to you for healing. We know and believe that you are the God who heals and that your will is that Richard is completely healed and completely made whole. And so, Father, we just we proclaim that and that it would manifest here on earth in Richard right now. We pray this in Jesus' name. Yes, Father, we just thank you for what you're doing in Richard and his, and his family. We thank you for the, the health you have shared with them. We just pray healing, recovery, and spiritual, spiritual power. And just, we just pray peace, your peace, yes. and, and your power over, over their family. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Lord bless you guys. Thank you. Okay, thanks a lot. Maynard, would you pray for Elmer? Elmer is just recovering at home. Father, thank you so much for what you do in each of our lives, Lord. How you speak to us and how you step in and walk with us when we are walking through physical struggles like Elmer is, Lord. That you protect him, protect his thoughts protect his spiritual life, Lord, that he walks in joy, walks in peace, Lord, as he's recuperating, that his strength comes back. We pray that you step in, Lord, and miraculously move and completely heal him, Lord. We ask this in Jesus' name, that you step in and be in peace with each one of us, Lord, as you do with Elmer, that we can walk in peace and joy and not look at our circumstances as the commanding factor in our lives, Lord, but look at you and the Spirit in us as our commanding factor in life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Father God, thank you that you are our healer. You are Jehovah Rapha, our God who heals. And God, there may be others in the congregation that are not feeling well, and we just speak life and healing. I pray, God, for Arlene this morning. She shared that she's not feeling well, and so she's not here today. And we just pray, God, a, a touch on her life. Father, I thank you for the miracle of, of your touch, of a word from heaven. Thank you. And God, thank you for even uh, healing uh, and for your covering over my eyes. And just commit that to you, and I give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay. Is there anybody else before we uh, invite the worship team? They're actually, the worship team is welcome to come back out. We're going to continue worshiping and just uh, let the Lord minister uh, to your hearts. You know, I, I thought it was beautiful. Um, last night we were having prayer. And I believe there's just a lot of intercession happens in this time of prayer. I, I believe in just God's children crying out to God. I, I love it when there's intercessors praying. And Saturday is kind of a preparation and just a time of prayer. And, and last night um, they were talking about, Tim would lead that, and he was talking about the joy. And he was <laughs> reflected. And, and uh, Mike, Michael didn't have any idea that... Uh, Tim shared that last night, but he just shared about this joy, joy, joy in our hearts, and how many times that might have been sung, and we have long faces and whatever. Now, I didn't sense that this morning, but this joy in our heart is from the Lord, and it's a, a joy that wells up, and sometimes joy that comes out by the Holy Spirit may not always look exactly so prim and proper. It's just full of joy and robust and we thank God for his touch. But anyway, I appreciated that. God bless you. Uh, not only Paul and his son, it was beautiful, but uh, Carolyn and Leah, um, Jared, Chris, Michael, thank you for leading us in worship, each one of you guys.